hello everyone welcome back to this next video of the file handling now in this video we are going to see that how to work with the text files so first i'll show you that how to create a text file so we have known this earlier that how we can create a file so first we have to use the open function and then inside the open function we have to give the file name followed by the extension of the text that is dot txt then we have to give the mode so for creating a file the mode is x and the file can be created with the write mode and the append mode also if the file is not present with that name but x is proper mode for creating a file now when we'll execute the code our code has been executed successfully and you can see here python.txt file has been created now when we want to write uh write something in our text file so we have to use the write mode and then we have to take a file pointer for using the further functions for writing inside the file and then what we can do then we can simply take a variable and then inside the variable using the file pointer f we can use the write function and then inside the write function we can write so suppose i want to write that python is a very easy language so now i don't want to print it because i am only writing it and then each time you open a file you have to close that file so we, we are closing using the close function and when we'll execute the code you'll see a code has been executed and when we'll go inside our text file you'll see that python is very easy language has been uh, written inside our text file now now i want to see that text here in our terminal so for what what we have to do we have to use the read mode so first i will comment out this line and now i'll write here uh, for reading the file we have to use the read mode so we can give r here and you cannot give anything because read is the default uh, mode so it is up to you what you want to you want to give r or you don't want to give r now uh, for reading we have to use the read function so for reading the function what we are going to do we'll just simply take a variable name a and inside the variable we are going to read using the read function and then we are going to print if will not print a then what will happen that it will only read it but it will not show it in our terminal so for showing it in our terminal we have to print a and when we'll execute the code you will see that python is a very easy language has been printed now now i want to add something uh, to this python is a very easy language um, i want to add some text inside this uh, python.txt file so what i will use now i'll use the append mode so for using the append mode we have to use the character a here and then i'll comment out this line this line 2 because we don't need these two lines here now i'll uncomment this line and we have to use the write function again to add some text inside that and now what i will add first i will add a new line because i want that the text i'm writing now it will it should get uh, written in the new line so for that i am using the backslash n character and now i am writing here that python has a very big modules or simply python has modules okay now when i'll execute the code you'll see that code has been executed here okay now we'll see our test file so you are seeing here that first python is a very easy language has been uh, written already and the text which we have added in the new line that is python has modules it it uh, it also get written now what we want we want to read these lines so what we will do first to uh, first we uncomment this line then we'll you we have to change the mode here to read mode 
and now we'll uncomment these two lines and when we'll execute the code you will see that python is a very easy language and then python as modules has been printed here okay now suppose i want to read only one line that i want to read only the first line that python is a very easy language so what i will do i'll use the function read line so read line is the function which reads the first line only so you'll see that python is a very easy language has been read and using the print function we have printed it in our terminal so now i'll clear clear here so that it will be more easy to understand and when we execute the code you will see python is a very easy language has been printed now when we want to print the second line also so what we can do we can uh, easily do that we can store we can write uh, read line again and then we can print b so now what will happen when we will execute the code you will see that python is a very easy language and then this red line is doing the first red line is doing that it's printing the first line now when we give second time the read line what is doing that it is not printing the first line it is printing after the first line means it is printing the second line so if there is three four five lines and we want to print each line uh, we don't need each line at a time we need lines uh first line at some time then after executing a program then we want the second line so we can use this read line particularly okay this was one method now we can use the loop also so how we can use the loop so for that we have to use the loop here for line in f and then we can print the line so simply what will happen when we'll execute the code you will see that python is a very easy language and python as modules has been printed so this is used for printing so means we can use the for loop to print the lines uh, so uh, we can use the for loops of for printing in lines now there is one more mode in which we can print it inside a list means the lines present inside our text file will get printed in a list so how it will how it can happen so i'll show you so for that we will first take a variable then inside the variable we have to give read lines now this time you are using the read lines function and then we have to print it and i'll clear from here now when i'll execute the code you will see that python is a very easy language then a new line because it is present in a uh, because the next line is present in a new line and then python as modules these two lines are getting printed inside a list you can see here inside the square braces so this was uh, for the printing inside a list now i want to tell you one more thing about write mode so what happens inside the write mode so first i'll switch to write mode and then i'll comment these lines and i'll uncomment this line and i'll change from modules to libraries okay now you can see here i have not executed i have not executed this code now i want to make you see that what is written here so first in one line in the first line it is written python is a very easy language then the second line it is written python as modules okay now i want that that python as libraries also get stored in this python.txt file so for that i am using the write mode and then uh, i have i am doing the same procedure and i am adding this text using the write function okay now when i'll execute the code the code has been successfully executed okay now when i'll see the file so you will see here that the earlier lines that python is very easy to understand or python as modules or the earlier two lines has been removed and this line which we have written now that python has libraries this only line has been kept and earlier lines were removed so what happens when we use write mode at second time when we we'll use the write mode 
a uh, second time so what will happen the previous text present in our inside our text file will be removed and then the present text which we want to add only that text means only these text will be kept and the previous text will be removed so always remember when we when you want to add lines to the previous texts so we have to use the append a or else if you'll use the write mode then what will happen it will remove the earlier text and the present text only it will be stored so suppose now i am using the append mode and when i'll uh, i'm i want to store earlier i have stored python as libraries now i want to store python as modules modules 2 and now i am using the append mode and when i'll execute the code you'll see the code has been executed and here you'll see that python as libraries and python as modules 2 these two lines has been stored successfully and in this way i can store as many lines as i want so suppose this time i have stored modules so i can store that python is used for uh you can see data science also and now when i'll execute the code code has been executed and when we'll go to our text file we'll see that all the file all the text which we are writing will get uh stored after uh each line because we have used this uh backslash n character so it is used for the new line so it will get stored in the new line and the previous text will not be removed so this was it for the video uh we have seen that how to work with the text files so now we can work with the text files with the different modes so thanks for watching this video